Part One Meats of a Little Cookbook for a Little Girl. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. A Little Cookbook for a Little Girl by Caroline French Benton. Part One Meats. When it came to cooking meat for breakfast, Margaret thought she had better take first what looked easiest, so she chose corned beef hash. One pint of chopped corned beef, one pint of cold boiled potatoes, one cup of clear soup or one cup of cold water, one tablespoonful of butter, one teaspoonful of finely minced onion, half a teaspoonful of salt, three shakes of pepper. Mix all together. Have a hot frying pan, and in it put a tablespoonful of butter or nice fat, and when it bubbles, shake it all around the pan. Put in the hash and cook it till dry, stirring it often and scraping it from the bottom of the pan. When none of the soup or water runs out when you lift a spoonful, and when it seems steaming hot, you can send it to the table in a hot dish with parsley around it or you can let it cook without stirring till there is a nice brown crust on the bottom when you can double it over as you would an omelet. Or you can make a pyramid of the hash in the middle of a round platter and put poached eggs in a circle around it. Many people like one small cold boiled beet cut up fine in corned beef hash and sometimes for a change you can put this in before you put it in the frying pan. Broiled bacon Margaret's mother believed there was only one very nice way to cook bacon. It was like this. Slice the bacon very, very thin and cut off the rind. Put the slices close together in a wire broiler and lay this over a shallow pan in a very hot oven for about three minutes. If it is brown on top, then you can turn the broiler over, but if not, wait a moment longer. When both sides are toasted, Lay it on a hot platter and put sprigs of parsley around. This is much nicer than bacon cooked in the frying pan or over coals, for it is neither greasy nor smoky, but pink and light brown and crisp and delicious, and good for sick people and little children and everybody. Broiled Chops Wipe off the chops with a clean wet cloth and trim off the edges. If very fat, cut rather close to the meat. Rub the wire broiler with some of the fat so that the chops will not stick. Lay in the chops and put over a clear red fire without flame and toast one side first and then the other. Do this till they are brown. Lay on a hot platter and dust both sides with salt and a tiny bit of pepper. Put bits of lemon and parsley around and send to the table hot. Panned Chops if the fire is not clear so that you cannot broil the chops, you must pan them. Take a frying pan and make it very hot indeed. Then lay in the chops, which you have wiped and trimmed, and cook one side very quickly and then the other, and after that let them cook more slowly. When they are done, you can tell by picking open a little place in one with a fork and looking on the inside. Put them on a platter as before with pepper and salt. If they are at all greasy, put on brown paper in the oven first to drain, leaving the door of the oven open. Be careful not to let them get cold. Liver and Bacon Buy half a pound of calf's liver and half a pound of bacon. Cut the liver in thin slices and pour boiling water over it, and then wipe each slice dry. Slice the bacon very thin and cut off the rind. Put this in a hot frying pan and cook very quickly, turning it once or twice. Just as soon as it is brown, take it out and lay it on brown paper in the oven in a pan. Take a saucer of flour and mix in it a teaspoonful of salt and a very little pepper. Dip the slices of liver in this one at a time and shake them free of lumps. Lay them in the hot fat of the bacon in the pan and fry till brown. Have a hot platter ready and lay the slices of liver in a nice row on it, and then put one slice of bacon on each slice of liver. 
put parsley all around and sometimes use slices of lemon too for a change liver and bacon on skewers get from the butcher half a dozen small wooden skewers and prepare the liver and bacon as you did for frying scalding dipping the liver in flour and taking the rind off the bacon make three slices of toast cut into strips and put in the oven to keep hot cut up both liver and bacon into pieces the size of a fifty cent piece and put them on the skewers first one of the liver and then one of the bacon and so on about six of each put these in the hot frying pan and turn them over till they are brown then lay one skewer on each strip of toast and put lemon and parsley around you can also put large oysters on the skewers with pieces of bacon and cook in the same way broiled steak see that the fire is clear and red without flames trim off most of the fat from the steak and rub the wires of the broiler with it and heat it over the coals then put in the meat and turn over and over as it cooks and be careful not to let it take fire when brown put it on a hot platter dust over with salt and a very little pepper and dot it with tiny lumps of butter put parsley around steak ought to be pink inside not brown and not red put a fork in as you did with the chops and twist in a little and you can see when it gets the right color steak with bananas peel one banana and slice in round pieces and while the steak is cooking fry them in a little hot butter till they are brown after the meat is on the platter lay these pieces over it arranging them prettily and put the parsley around as before bananas are very nice with steak frizzled dried beef take half a pound of dried beef shaved very thin chop it fine and pull out the strings put a large tablespoonful of butter in the frying pan and when it bubbles put in the meat stir till it begins to get brown and then sprinkle in one tablespoonful of flour and stir again and then put in one cup of hot milk shake in a little pepper but no salt as soon as it boils up once it is done and you can put it in a hot covered dish if you like a change stir in sometimes two beaten eggs in the milk instead of using it plain veal cutlet wipe off the meat with a clean wet cloth and then with one that is dry dust it over with salt pepper and flour put a tablespoonful of nice dripping in a hot frying pan and let it heat till it smokes a little lay in the meat and cook till brown turning it over twice as it cooks look in the inside and see if it's brown for cutlet must not be eaten red or pink inside put in a hot oven and cover it up while you make the gravy by putting one tablespoonful of flour into the hot fat in the pan stirring it till it is brown then put in a cup of boiling water half a teaspoonful of salt and a very little pepper put this through the wire sieve pressing it with a spoon and turn over the meat put parsley around the cutlet and send hot to the table end of part one meats recording by j p for k j v